Oh, really? I see a handsome gentleman with long grey hair. <sighs> Go round that way, Richard. Right, I'll you. come and greet you properly. Go and look after him. I'm going to look after him, Bob. Don't start swearing on any of that. Oh, I take any of that or just no, I'll go and it's you bring it out. Okay. Ted, I tell you what, what an honour it is to have um you here. Richard. Yeah. But more especially, Ted's really shown up. He really has. Look, hasn't he? He's turned it on for the me. I thought I'd wear a suit and be look good, and then. Well, you look good, but, but Ted's look. off the scale. I know isn't it's it? ridiculous. You know, it's like having George Clooney <laughs> around, do not it? <laughs> look at you. <laughs> yeah, go on, mate. <laughs> Hi, Richard. Well, hello, Bob. How are you doing? Oh, lovely to see you. Thank you for coming. My absolute pleasure. I've cooked well, for you, this. which is, you know, which is maybe a good thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, Richard, we've asked you down, I yeah. suppose, specifically because it was very sad that you had testicular cancer. Yeah, it was sort of out of the blue. Um, in uh, last year, 2021, um, I've lost uh, one of the boys. Yeah. So that's a, that's, a bit of a <laughs> that's a bit of a loss. But it's better than the alternative. So, yeah. I, I, What's the alternative? To not be alive anymore. Oh, how is it? Richard, um, they, they do they seem very personal, but... Can I ask, where does it settle where it always was? The no, it moves over, so it moved to the middle in the end. So it's occupied the middle ground? Yeah, it goes, it's like it's, really? it's realised. It took a little while to realise that the bed was empty so it could move <laughs> into the middle. But um, it just looks a little bit more bijou than before. When you first... You, did you get a sort of sensation that something was wrong, or did you...? Not really. It was, um, there was nothing wrong. I didn't feel ill. Right. All that was, it was... I just sort of felt like it was a bit harder and bigger than it had been before. So the really important thing is to get to know you, because I didn't... I, I've been involved in campaigns for testicular cancer before I had testicular cancer, right. and they always say, oh, feel yourself every month. Yeah. And, and I never did any of that, right? And so I wasn't... You're not sure, unless you get to know yourself, if there's any changes. And mostly people will be looking for lumps and discharges and stuff, yeah. I suppose, but it just was feeling a bit heavy and a bit bigger than it had been. And actually, they had to take it out to find out what was wrong, so I'm glad there was something wrong with it. Oh, so, so they don't do a biopsy? No, they, they were said they would do a biopsy, but it was such a big mass that there was no point in doing a biopsy, so they knew they had to take it out. Yeah. Right. I wanted to write a book just because, as a comedian, something like this happens to you, and there's a part of you thinking, oh, good, you know, I can, I can do a show, I can do... Yeah. Because, but, but it also is that if, if you've got to get a cancer, this is the funniest one you can get. And also, it turns out, if you get in early and it hasn't spread, it's treatable. And, and it's and a superb title. Can I have my ball back? Can I have my ball back? Yeah. Will you... If, I think if I left a um, doctor surgery with the C word being mentioned, mm. I think I would have been absolutely terrified. How did it... Did it hit you hard? Well, it was... It hit me hard when... Yeah, when it... Cos, it, to begin with, it was like, oh, you're fine, and I was sort of walking away thinking, oh, I can't do the show about it, but, you know, at least I haven't got cancer. And then... The, the, I was sort of surprised when the, the lady doing the scan said there's something, to, something in there, but I sort of didn't really register still. And then I got a call from the same GP, and it was weird, because I'd just been... I've got two young kids, I've got... They were, like, five and three at the time, I think I was six, six and three. And um, they were sort of playing in the next room. It's like a, you know, it's like a film where yeah. <laughs> you get the call and go out. And just hearing my son sort of laughing in the next room as I'd just had this call, oh that was the God. only time it... Yeah. It kind of overwhelmed me, but I just realised how much my, you know, my family and my kids meant to of me, and that, and that was, and that was just the the, the fear of how it would impact on them. Um, Have you taken a positive from it at all? Yeah, I mean, it's all, nearly all been positive, I think, because it just, I, mean, I think I've, I realised I don't want to die, and I want to live. You know, I know I realised. Well, I, I'm going to have to disappoint I, you I there, realized, Richard. But I realised I am going to die. You are. Yeah. But I also thought, well, look, I'm going to try and keep myself as healthy as possible. Mm. And I'm going to spend as much time with my family as I can while they, while they still want to be around me. Oh, well, that's brilliant. So, I mean, you've emerged at the other end. Yeah. Mm. And you've passed on perhaps the obvious message that, you know, you've got to get yourself familiar with your knackers. Men are obsessed with everything down there yeah. and talk about it all the time, but, but they don't... don't genuinely they don't really engage it. with it. <laughs> no, it's, so, it's just think, oh, I'll leave that, I'll let that go. Yeah. And there's loads of things that can be yeah. that aren't as bad as cancer. Mm. Um, so you might as well just go and get it checked out, and then you're not worrying about it. In the days of Zoom appointments with the doctors, yeah. would you have just have to press it against the screen? <laughs> so I suppose you would. Is that what you'd have to do? The you're trivialising trivial <laughs> it now, Robert. No, no, I'm just wondering. Right, thank you so much. No, thanks, guys. Richard, thank that's been really brilliant. Thank mate. you. Yeah, very, uh, very interesting, enlightening, and sort of uplifting <laughs> as well. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to stay, but I've got, I've got to, you know... What, what have you got to do? I've got, I've got stuff to do. I've got stuff to put the kids to, to bed. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Right. See, See you, Richard. Richard. See you.
Bob, you don't seem very happy. What's the matter? Eh? You don't. You seem a bit down. Yeah, I'm a bit down. That's okay. What about if they liked or subscribed to uh, Bob and Paul's YouTube channel? Would that cheer you up a bit? Yeah, that would help a bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Well, there you go then. See if you can cheer Bob up a little bit by liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel. I might even get out of bed. <laughs>